Hey everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 31. This is the last day of Vlogmas and so I figured even though I'm having a crazy busy day, I wanted to film a little bit and um, just end it. But um, anyway, so I'm in town trying to find a last minute uh, New Year's gift. His Josiah's family does opens gifts on New Year's. So um, I was trying to find a gift and I did. I found some good stuff. And um, anyway, so now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and uh, we gotta pick up some things because tomorrow we're also having Christmas Eve, or Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve party at our church. And so um, stay up late and play games and stuff like that. So anyway, I gotta go to the store and pick up a few things and then my a friend of mine is watching my kid, my elder two, so I gotta go pick them up too. And sorry, the camera is a little crooked, but in the car, it's not a whole lot of places I could put the camera. <laughs> um, that'll be, you know, like, anyway. So, um, that's what I'm doing right now, and then hopefully we'll get home soon and I'll start doing some more vlogging, so, anyway. All right, so I just got home, and the kids are napping, and I'm gonna work on getting this little guy to nap too. We just got home, and so now I'm just kind of trying to get my thoughts together and then I'll figure out what I'm doing exactly. But I know I have to feed my starter, my sourdough starter, and then I gotta make, tonight I'm gonna make sourdough some new old batter, so. got last minute for um, tomorrow we're opening gifts with Josiah's family so I wrapped the rest of the gifts that we hadn't wrapped yet so those are under the tree and done and so now I'm gonna go outside real quick check the mail and um, maybe do some burning because we have a bunch of boxes out there that really need to get burned um, it's after I come in and from doing those things I'm probably gonna sit down and have a little fun end of the year chat with you guys because um, this will be the last video of the year which is crazy and this will be my last vlogmas video which is also crazy so um, I've enjoyed it and I'm glad I was able to do it and um, it was kind of fun just I learned a lot I learned a lot of different techniques of vlogging and um, filming and I learned new things about my camera and new ways to film, and new ways to edit, and all kinds of things. So I was really, I'm, I'm thankful I did this. So anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and get those things done outside real quick. So I'm gonna burn all of this stuff. Maybe not all of it, all the small boxes anyway. We have a little burn, <laughs> burn tin, I guess. I, it's not a tin, but little burn barrel that's what I'm talking that's what it is <laughs> little burn barrel out there and so and these are a lot of this stuff is trash um, from like you know cereal and household stuff we don't want to this is a really great hack for less waste just burn all your burnables and that way you um, you don't throw away all your cardboard you can actually burn it um, if you live where I live anyway but it's a lot better it uh, doesn't waste as much space in your trash cans and it's a way of kind of being less wasteful so anyway but we're gonna go ahead and burn all of our trash really quick and then I'll see how many boxes and stuff I can actually burn Another thing I like about burning cardboard and paper and stuff is you can buy paper towels and it's actually not wasteful. Um, paper towels burn because they're paper 
and they burn really well um, and you can use the ashes actually to just put them on your garden um, as long as they don't have any real bad chemicals or something but anyway um, but yeah so that's why we'll we tend to buy paper towels even though a lot of people say it's wasteful um, just burn them and therefore no waste and so anything that's burned uh, the ashes already get absorbed into the ground the only thing that that might not have uh, the only thing that might be semi not so good is like whatever they use in um, the paper towels or anything kind of depending on what paper towels you get but um, that can tend to be if there's any toxins in the paper but I don't know anyway this is what much more or much less wasteful if you burn your uh, burnables trash because I'm in my room and it's quiet um, it's just a lot easier to film in here because everybody's awake and out in the living room just I was watching them right now but anyway um, so I've got my kombucha this is my favorite kind actually from the store anyway I make my own too but we're out of it and so this is my favorite kind it has spirulina in it it's really good for you if it's the right kind anyway um, but I'm gonna just be sipping this while I talk to you guys about the, what the new year, what I would like the new year to bring, and what my plans are, and a few things I just like to talk about for the end of the year vlog slash end of vlogmas, and also just some things I'm thankful for that happened this year. Um, so first I'm gonna just kind of talk about things I'm thankful for really quick. Um, I'm really thankful, one of the biggest things was um, I'm really thankful for our church and my family, um, my husband, so all the people dear to me. Um, it's been a very interesting year with having a baby and Josiah's job changing um, and a lot of other things that just happened that were crazy and Josiah, my family, our kids, everyone, our church especially, we're just a rock and we're always there for us which was really amazing obviously also God was Christ is always with me he's always there for me um, and I'm just thankful for him that he came and died for my sins and forgave me and is here for me always and has made me a new person um, so I'm very thankful for all those things um, I'm really thankful for the birth of Jonathan and how well it went it went super amazing quick labor if you're interested in actually watching or listening to the story of his birth you can check out the video up here and it'll be in the description also um, but it was an amazing birth it was only four and a half hours long and this was my third child and I had had long labors with the other two. My first one was 17 hours and then my second daughter, well, my second born was eight hours and he was, and Jonathan, my, my uh, most recent baby, was only four and a half. So a big change and it was um, um, an amazing birth. Um, so I was really thankful for that. But those are the few things that I just wanted to mention that I was really thankful for this year. Um, I'm also thankful for my health. Um, even though I struggle sometimes with postpartum stuff that's still going on, um, I'm thankful that I can take care of my children and my family. I can walk, I can run, I can laugh, I can eat, and um, I don't have any major health issues. So I'm very thankful for those things. And what I'd like, what I'm really looking forward to in the next year is uh, one thing is really working on my health and getting me and my family healthier so that we can better serve the Lord, better serve our family, um, better do life. Um, when you're healthy and happy and your body's working really good, it's so much easier to be, a ser be able to serve, be able to do things you want to do and all that. I'm also really looking forward to doing more ministry work with the teens this year. We are um, kind of 
leading the teens in our church. Um, we're kind of helping them, um, not just our church, but other teens too as well. And we just like spend a lot of time with them and uh, we do lessons every Friday night with them. And um, it's just been a really cool ministry to be able to work with the teens. Um, I've learned a lot and so has Josiah and so I'm looking forward to doing more trips with them and um, just being chaperones and really just going along with them this year and doing stuff and being there for them and all that so it's just it'll be exciting and fun and yeah and then obviously just watching my own children grow up and I'm excited to see where Judah goes with schooling and how he does with learning and all that and Kyla as well and see how well Jonathan does with crawling and walking and eating and all that and I'm just excited for what this next year is going to bring. Um, I'm excited. I also really want to spend more time with Josiah, my husband, and really take time away from our kids. Um, not long periods of time, just short periods of time that we don't have with them and we have together and we really work on our marriage because if our marriage is solid then our family life um, will most likely be solid as long as we put our marriage um, behind God and um, is focused around the Lord then our marriage will be strong and in so in so doing with our marriage being strong then our family unit should be strong um, as long as we we uh, really spend time with the Lord and let him be the leader of our family truly but anyway I really want to focus on our marriage and spending time with my husband um, another thing I'm really looking forward to is um, it's just more YouTube and social media stuff and all that and see where this is all going. I'm excited to see hopefully lots of growth and grow my community and just it's exciting like to get a community together of people and share ideas and um, just get to know other people and be a blessing to other people and all that kind of thing. All those kinds of things. Um, I'm really excited about that. I also am super excited about a garden that I am really so determined to do this year. I am going to be praying very hard that we are able to do it this year. I'm not pregnant. I Hopefully I won't be pregnant this next year and my kids will be older and um, I will hopefully be feeling better and more agile and more able to do things in uh, that require a lot of uh, hard labor and so um, I'm really excited and looking forward to be doing a garden this year. So anyway, I don't want to take up a bunch of your guys' time. Those are just a few things that I'm looking forward to in the year. There's so many others I could go on and on. Um, but I'm really glad that you guys enjoy these vlogs. And if you enjoy other content that I've made or created in the past, please let me know and I'll make more. Um, but let me know what you guys thought of this whole vlogmas experience. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below talk to me I love talking to my audience and really seeing getting a feel for who you guys are and I know a lot of family watch on here too and I'm very thankful that you guys are willing to watch and enjoy it too um, but anyway so I'm hoping and my goals for this year are really to get this YouTube going but more or less my goal for this year really is to serve the Lord serve my family and do a better job at my health and also um, one thing I did kind of miss didn't missed to mention forgot to mention was the whole Sunrider business thing that I want to be doing and that is also something I'm super excited about getting more into and sharing with you guys more about but I'm not gonna I don't want to keep you guys any longer I hope you guys enjoyed this whole vlogging fun experience and I will see you guys in my next video have a great rest of your however long it is till I have a video out um, and I will see you guys next time bye